Hey, it's your open source advocate, and every week I bring you new open source, self-hosted software that is absolutely amazing. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and tell your friends about this channel so they can come along on the journey with us. Now let's get started. Now I want to move on to getting the actual uh, Shinobi set up. So here in my pertainer, you see there's no more Shinobi. I've gotten rid of it. And I'll go through what I did with you guys. And again, I'll put this in the description. So this is the command that we want to run. And I'm going to leave it up here. So we need to do a few things. We need to create a few um, files that are going to be volumes here. So you can see there's one called Home Brian Shinobi. And then inside of Shinobi, there's config. And then if we go over here, there's database. And then there's videos. So we need to make sure that we create all of these things. And then we have one called Shinobi Docker Temp. And that's for our streams. All right, so we're going to make that directory. So Shinobi, oops, let me spell it correctly. Then we're going to CD into it. And we're going to make a directory called videos. And we're going to make one called database. We're going to make one called config. And that's all we need to make as far as those directories go. Now we can do that same command that we show up at the top. Now, one other thing to notice is I set up port 8280 because I'm running other things on this particular machine and 8080 is already taken by another Docker container. So I'm going to point 8280 to 8080. So the host 8280 points to Docker 8080. Then these volumes are going to get created as we go through. And then this is the actual library that I'm using. So I'm going to run it as a, as a daemon and then set up my ports. And then everything else is kind of already set there. And we've created our, our spaces. So I'm going to clear that out. Just double check my command here. Everything looks good. And actually, let me do this one more time. CD now we'll do it from here just doesn't matter but we'll do it from here now that was really fast because I already have the image pulled down the only difference you're gonna see is that it'll pull down the images whenever you run it the first time but if we go back over here and refresh my portainer we should be able to see six yes and Shinobi is now Oh, it gave it a funny name. Okay, so if you don't tell it what name back here in this command that we ran, which I didn't, so I didn't tell it to give it the name Shinobi, uh, Docker likes to give things just weird names. So here it is right here. So we can go in and we can just say um, edit. And I can say, I don't like this name. I want this to be Shinobi. And then I can go down here and just tell it recreate this thing. Now it's probably going to duplicate it. So one thing you can do here is just if you don't like the way that it turned out you can stop the container Then we can click on it and say remove and remove. So now everything should be gone and we've got the one that we just told it to create which is Shinobi and it's running. Here we go. Now the first time you run this, you actually need to go to slash super. And you'll notice the difference in the button color. And on this, you want to use admin at shinobi.video and admin as the default password. And then we need to add a user. Um, the key I just leave blank because it'll create that it says and then give it my password a couple of times. Now there's some other settings here that you can set. So maximum number of uh, allowed clients and, and all kinds of things like that. But maximum days to keep videos, it defaults to five. I'm going to say 30. I've got plenty of space. Um, maximum days to keep events, I'm going to say 15. And then number of days to keep logs, I'm going to say 10. And max number of cameras, I'm not going to set because why? And finally, permissions. Um, so basically, all privileges are limited. So I want to be an admin, so I'm going to say all privileges, and I'm going to click OK. 
and there we go there's my user so I can go through here and set up some of these other settings but nothing that I really need to do right now except maybe change this password to hit save so I'm gonna close that I'm not gonna let it save right now alright so now we're gonna go take super back off of this and we're back to our screen I should be able to log in it's already got my credentials saved from before and you'll notice there's no videos and nothing in the sidebar because we don't have any cameras added so let's add a camera so you click on the plus it's gonna drop down we're gonna say watch only which is fine I'm gonna give this a name so it's gonna be pi right there and then pi right there so I've already done this so it's a little bit quicker you guys are not having to sit there and watch me type everything which is good uh, we're gonna move down and this is gonna be an MJPEG camera in this case and the address is HTTP 192.168.7.202 colon 8081 and I don't think I need any of the rest of that information and one more time MJPEG and it's at 1280 by 720 The frame rate is 15 in this case. It does not have pan tilt zoom. So we're going to say save. Now this hopefully will go out and find our camera feed, assuming I typed everything correctly. If you don't put the slashes, it's not going to know what you want. Here it comes. There it is. Okay, there's our monitor. So, if you type things incorrectly, it really makes a difference. It's very easy to add a camera to Shinobi once you've got everything set up and running. So, we'll add the other one real quick in the same way. I won't make you sit through it. Don't worry. There we go. Got both cameras showing up, which is what we want, what we expect. Okay, so, once we've done that, we're kind of set. That's Shinobi kind of in a nutshell. If you like this, if you like the, the episode that I've done here, it's, it's very brief, and I don't usually do really brief things, but I'm trying to make it compact because there's so much to cover. If you'd like to see more in detail, let me know, and I'll be happy to put together a little bit more detail about each piece that I'm using to put this all together. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, tell your friends so they can come along with, on the journey with us. And I want to say a special thank you to all of the patrons who are out there on Patreon.com and starting to support me. I really appreciate that. I'm going to put their names up here on the screen right now. Um, you just don't understand how much I appreciate this. It means so much that you appreciate what I'm doing enough to, to let me know that through Patreon. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.